The time is always right to do what is right. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth. At the start of a new week, Tempus Fugit to the portal of the Casa de Dominacio. The house of love where the medicine is love here in Abidjania in the heart of Brazil where this majestic high vibration is flowing right across the world into our open hearts connecting us across the miles and we have another spectacular day here May is the month of our Divine Mother Mary so we have deep blue skies representing the protection and love of the mantle of our Divine Mother and we have little fluffy white clouds drifting slowly by in an ever-changing landscape reminding us that we are just travellers here on Earth and all things change and all things are impermanent and we're being held in this majestic high vibration of Mother Earth everything is growing changing and there's beautiful flowers everywhere of all colors and fragrances being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and butterflies again all about transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light so wherever you are in the world relax if you're lying down great if you're under a crystal bed super and if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current Feet firmly on the ground to ground us. Don't cross your body in any way. Be open to give and receive and allow this miraculous, majestic, high vibration to flow through all of our chakras, pouring forth from our open hearts, connecting us right across the globe. This wonderful current of love and light. Put a glass of water beside you. This is blessed. And we drink it at the end of the work to nourish us, mind, body and spirit. And then as we close our physical eyes, our limited vision, which is crucial for this necessary divine work, the best sight is insight. And we leave the material world behind in this solemn hour with all of its stresses, problems, difficulties, challenges. We open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances, all there is. We're reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around we're not the body we're so much more the body merely houses our eternal spirits and we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil these phenomenal entities of light and love from all backgrounds they too had bodies once or twice so they know all about us the human condition and they know our suffering and they know exactly what we need as we work in a state of surrender and grace, trusting, having faith and believing in the power of God. And today we have a look at ethics. Although the world seems like it's gone a little bit off track there and certainly many of the entities who we know are holy beings and they too walked the path of being human, which is a minefield fraught with difficulties. We're not perfect beings yet, we're working on it. And we're always challenged to do the right thing. And we're here on earth to develop our intuition and to do no harm as best we can. And we won't always get it right, but we certainly need to work on always choosing love in each and every moment. This is the path of ethics. So we are able to have a clear conscience. And it just seems that everybody is not doing the wrong thing, trying to cheat the system or just, you know, not cooperating with each other and not being true to ourselves. And there is a code of ethics and as parents or teachers we have a great responsibility to show by example to our children who are learning they're like sponges and we really need to do the best we can here on earth 
and not to give ourselves a hard time when we fall along the path. It's only natural that we don't get it right all the time. So there's a good framework just within the teachings of the beautiful entities of the Casa to have these code of ethics. The first one being integrity. And every day we should try to have a mantra of, I will be honest in everything I do. Always forthright, always sincere, always reliable, and always dependable. The second of the code of ethics we should really try and emulate is caring. Our mantra can be, I will care about others, always considerate, always fair, always willing to help those in need, and never ridicule or intentionally hurt others. The third of our code of ethics can be excellence. I will do the best at everything I do. Always strive for excellence, not perfection. And never accept mediocrity. And never procrastinate. That's a hard one. We're always putting things on the long finger, but we just do the best we can. The fourth code of ethics can be attitude. Let our mentor be, I will maintain a positive attitude. Always respectful, always loyal, always humble and never arrogant. And the final and fifth code of ethic is about courage. Our mantra can be, I will stand up for what is right. Never give in to negative peer pressure and never allow the fear of failure to prevent trying. So, as we embrace these code of ethics, not easy, just trying to live a good life in all things for the greater glory of God, in love and in service. This is the motto of the Jesuits and certainly we learn a lot through the work of the Casa, the teachings of the Christ Consciousness help us always to remain in the heart centre and to be as ethical as we possibly can, knowing that we're only human and we are progressing along the path, which is fraught with difficulties right now and it's hard to see a bigger picture. So let us pray in the spirit of our brother Jesus, who many of the entities in the Casa were dedicated to walking in their footsteps, particularly this week as we celebrate our darling Saint Rita of Cassia on Friday in the Casa, realising that to God all things are possible. And let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing, joyfully, happily, trustingly, knowing that our prayers are being answered, usually not in the way we would imagine as we surrender to the will of God. The Lord's Prayer translated from its original Aramaic, the language of Jesus and Mary. O breathing life, your name shines everywhere. Release a space to plant your presence here. Envisage your I can now. Embody your desire in every light and form. Grow to us this moment's bread and wisdom. Untie the knots of errors binding us. 
as we release the strands we hold of others' faults. Help us to never forget our source. Liberate us from not living in this present moment. From you arises every vision, power and song. From gathering to gathering. May our future actions grow from here. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace. We ask you in this sacred moment to intercede for us, your children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these challenging days on earth as we go within on the journey of the heart to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the morals, the ethics, the love, the forgiveness, the gratitude, the joy, the abundance, deep, deep within us. And it is within all of us, we are divine beings, having us all carnage and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Our mother, whose body is the earth, Sacred is thy being. Thy gardens grow. Thy will be done in our cities as it is in nature. Thanks be this day for food, air and water. Forgive us our sins against the earth as we are learning to forgive one another. And surrender us not into extinction. Rather, deliver us from our folly. For thine is the beauty and the power and all life. From birth to death. From beginning to end. So be it forever. Blessed be. Amen.
If we cannot find peace, it is because we have forgotten that we belong to each other. And this explosion of consciousness on the planet now is such a huge wake up call. Many people are losing sight of a bigger picture. We have come back to Earth to learn these very challenging lessons right now. There's no part of the human condition that doesn't involve some kind of suffering. The wounds are where the light gets in. And we have so much help available to us. If we would only have more faith. I know it's hard when we see so many people not doing the right thing or reacting badly. And in this particular week, today we take heart as it's the fourth day of the Novena of our beautiful sister, Saint Rita of Cassia. And a Novena is nine days of prayer for a particular intention. And as our beautiful Saint Rita is known as the Saint of the Impossible. Today we consider an aspect of her life. For us to be able to find peace of mind, peace in our hearts and peace on earth. And certainly in Saint Rita's time in the 1500s, there was not a lot of ethics happening. There was certainly very little peace. Her husband, who wouldn't give her any peace at all, he was a particularly cruel man, was involved in a war in Cassia. And of course, he was killed. And Saint Rita prayed so hard that her two young teenage sons would not vendetta their father's murder, which was what was done in those, in those times, multiplying this really heavy vibration of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. And Saint Rita's parents, as she was an only child, were known as the peacemakers of God. Wherever there was discord, they entered their home and by gentle words and prayers established peace. And Saint Rita learned from them to treasure peace throughout her life. She imitated their example. We now ask Saint Rita on this the fourth day of her novena to obtain for us the gift of peace. Peace of a good conscience, peace of mind, peace in our homes, peace in our work and with our companions. We ask our brother Jesus to always grant us the peace that he has guaranteed, particularly in distress and worry. Glorious Saint Rita, you brokered peace between your husband's family and the family of his murderer. We ask you in this sacred moment to intercede for us anywhere in our lives where there's discord and hatred. And for all families who are affected by animosity and unethical values. We pray especially for healing of mind, body and spirit for those of our brothers and sisters who are not awake on earth and who don't really see an ethical way forward. Dear Saint Rita, relying upon your merits before the Sacred Heart of Jesus. We pray in this Novena that our requests will be answered. We honour your perfect union with the Divine Will, Saint Rita, your heroic sufferings during your married life,
the consolation that you experienced at the conversion of your husband and sacrifice of your children taken from you in their teenage years back to the heavenly reward rather than see them grievously offend God through the vendetta. Your miraculous entrance into the convent, Saint Rita, your severe penances and your thrice daily bloody scourgings, thy suffering caused by thy wound on thy forehead from the stigmata of our brother Jesus. You suffered this wound with great peace in your heart. That remarkable devotion to our brother D Jesus, the happiness which you did part from this valley of tears into the arms of our beloved Jesus and your perfect example while here on earth that you gave to so many people even to this very day of love and forgiveness pray for us O holy saint rita that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen.
as we walk our paths together on Mother Earth, how do we know what is right and what is wrong? The indigenous of the world have their code of ethics and they are the gatekeepers. And this teaching cuts across all religions, all belief systems, the Christ consciousness. God has no religion. There's only one religion, the religion of love. So let us consider these codes of ethics. from our indigenous, which are all about love. Rise with the sun to pray. Pray alone, pray often. The great spirit will listen if you only speak. Be tolerant of those who are lost on their paths. Ignorance Conceit, anger, jealousy and greed stem from a lost soul. Pray that they will find guidance. Search for yourself, by yourself. Do not allow others to make your path for you. It is your road and yours alone. Others may walk it with you but no one can walk it for you. Treat the guests in your home with much consideration. Serve them the best food, give them the best bed, and treat them with respect and honour. Do not take what is not yours, whether from a person, a community, the wilderness, or from a culture. It was not earned nor given. It is not yours. Respect all things that are placed upon this earth, whether it be people or plant. Honour other people's thoughts, wishes and words. Never interrupt another or mock or rudely mimic them. Allow each person the right to personal expression. Never speak of others in a bad way. The negative energy that you put out into the universe will multiply when it returns to you. All persons make mistakes and all mistakes can be forgiven. Bad thoughts cause illness of the mind, body and spirit. Practice optimism. Nature is not for us, it is a part of us. They are a part of your worldly family. Children are the seeds of our future. Plant love in their hearts and water them with wisdom and life's lessons. When they are grown, give them space to grow. Avoid hurting the hearts of others. The poison of your pain will return to you. Be truthful at all times. Honesty is the test of the one's will within the universe. Keep yourself balanced. Your mental self, spiritual self, emotional self and physical self all need to be strong, pure and healthy. Work 
out the body to strengthen the mind. Grow rich in spirit to cure emotional ails. Make conscious decisions as to who you will be and how you will react. Be responsible for your own actions. Respect the privacy and personal space of others. Do not touch the personal property of others, especially sacred and religious objects. This is forbidden. Be true to yourself first. You cannot nurture and help yourself if you cannot nurture and help yourself first. Respect others' religious beliefs. Do not reinforce your belief on others. Share your good fortune with others. Love our mother, the earth, waters, land and air. Her good life is our life. Amen.
as we enjoy this beautiful ethical <laughs> high vibration of our darling Saint Rita of Cassia now while we move forward towards the celebration of our feast day which is on Saturday but the Casa will celebrate on Friday when the energy of her beautiful example in the world that to God all things are possible. The chasm will be full of red roses. This one here I got last Friday and it's such a high vibration beaming out St. Rita's energy into our open hearts from across the miles. As we relax into our physical bodies now and be open to receive a deep, deep cleansing from on high from our darling St. Rita. Wherever you are in the world now, relax. Take a long, slow, gentle, deep, deep breath into the heart center, the center of our being. And it's important for our eyes to be closed to receive these marvelous blessings from on high. We see nothing with our physical eyes. Our spiritual eyes see everything. And as you give, so it will be given you. And let us bring it in the future with all of its hope, promise, joy, love, forgiveness, peace, morality, ethics, gratitude, humility, coming together in brotherhood and sisterhood, trusting, faith, kindness. And let us breathe out the past with all of its problems, difficulties, pain, hurt, rage, anger, anything and everything that no longer serves us, that is stopping us, blocking us from becoming more, from stepping into the light, the core of our being, our very essence. We are love and we are light. That is all, all there is. In the spirit of Saint Rita, forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing we were the prisoner all along. As she forgave her husband's murders and God for taking her two teenage sons back to heaven to where she was left alone physically in the world, she knew that the right thing was being done. And she trusted implicitly and surrendered to the will of God, teaching us by example, not an easy journey, the human journey, but we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil. And let us bring into this high vibration anyone who's particularly struggling now on earth and there's so many of our brothers and sisters feeling suicidal, depressed, abandoned, unloved, hurt, unwanted, frustrated, angry, lacking forgiveness, understandably so. Homeless, The children of the world, they're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps who are all children of God, no exceptions. They need to be liberated now. Anyone who is at the mercy of extreme weather, fires, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, floods, famine, drought, God is merciful and will hear our prayers. And let's bring medium Joao into this high vibration and anyone who has struggled or who is suffering on account of the problems of the chasm. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light, extending this beautiful cleansing, healing energy to them. Also, every being deserves to be healed, whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this glorious, miraculous high vibration into our open hearts from on high, nourishing us, cleansing us, healing us, Let's share about you with the world. There's more than enough love and light to go around. Bringing this high vibration now into all hospitals. Helping our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals. And anyone who's in a caring capacity now. On Mother Earth. Pouring forth into all nursing homes, helping our elders. Into hospices, prisons, orphanages, rehabilitation centres. Anywhere, everywhere on planet Earth where brothers and sisters are suffering, in pain or are hungry. This God light. Gushing forth into all war zones. Anywhere there's unrest, disharmony, 
fighting conflict, bringing the peace of God. Not only for us, but for future generations to come. Saint Rita is with us. To God, all things are possible. In this sacred moment, this unstoppable high vibration penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders and anyone who's in a position of authority over another human being, helping them to wake up to our divine essence. We're all children of the source. Equal no difference. The God consciousness, all there is, sacred trinity of innumerable names helping them to realize that they have a great responsibility to make good decisions about our future and the future of this tiny little planet we call home for now. And it starts simply by putting people before profit. Do the right thing. God has eyes. Every action has a reaction. There are consequences to our actions here on earth. And let's start simply by putting people before profit. It's not difficult. In this sacred moment, this pristine, crystal clear energy gushing forth into all of our ecosystems, regenerating, regrowing. Mother Earth's already bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God. God is great. Miracles abound. Right here, right now, this majestic high vibration enveloping Gaia, Earth and Heart have the same letters. The Earth is receiving a heart transplant, growing, expanding, multiplying, cleansing and healing all beings, carnage and disincarnate. all of God's creatures in all universes as it gushes forth into infinity. May all beings with and without bodies all Creatures, great and small, be happy, healthy, kind, generous, humble, joyful, mindful, ethical, moral. Come together in brotherhood and sisterhood, abundant. And be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this beautiful, ever-growing current of love and light. Amen.
enjoying and basking in this majestic high vibration of our sister Saint Rita of Cassia, teaching us that to God all things are possible, as we are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to come together, this beautiful collective consciousness. One family under the banner of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love. As we learn to live by faith and not by sight, things may look a little bit hard right now on earth, but there is a bigger picture. And we are greatly loved and not alone. And we are equipped with everything we need and more for the journey. If you can't help someone, at least don't hurt them as we walk each other home on earth. And thank you, God, for sending all of your messengers of love, angels, archangels, guardian angels, ascended masters, unseen spirits, elevated beings, and these phenomenal entities of light and love. So many working with the Christ consciousness, which is all about love and forgiveness, do no harm. And St. Rita, who taught us so much about forgiveness and also being a peacemaker on earth and helping us on our paths when everything seems so impossible right now. She is with us every step of the journey as we reach out to her and ask with a contrite heart. And we are receiving always and in always. And thank you, God, for always sending our brother Jesus, Prince of Peace, and our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to wake up to our divine essence. We are love and we are light. That is all, all there is. And as these challenging lessons right now here on earth are being presented to us always, we really are learning and growing, evolving. Painful endings are bright new beginnings. As we let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us, letting go is growing up into the light, the very core of our being. And when all of these lessons are learned and life is short, as we seize the opportunities of each and every moment. We will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields, where there is no more pain and no more suffering. With all of these holy beings, how great is that? And to all of you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, for time and time to get, again coming together in this wonderful, high vibration of the casa. The entities know no borders, no boundaries, no time or space. God is everywhere at once answering our prayers for your dedication, your commitment, your patience, your humility, your courage, your faith, your hope, your light and your love to be in service in all things to the greater glory of God, love and service written on the walls of the Entities Room in English and in Portuguese, the motto of the Jesuits, the Christ Consciousness. As we take this leap of faith together, trying to do the right thing, we don't always get it right. Faith moves mountains, and your faith is healing you, your family, your friends, all of those around you and Mother Earth, and your love and your light beaming out of your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. Be the change you need to see in the world. This is why we're back on Earth. It's not an easy journey right now. We are the ones we have been waiting for. Rise up, light workers of the world. Have no fear. We are greatly loved and supported. United we stand. We rise by lifting others. Stay elevated. Just do the best you can. You're doing an amazing job. Thank
Thank you. And let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing, trustingly, joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers have been answered always and in all ways. And we're getting there. One breath at a time. Before you pray, believe and forgive everyone, everything. Don't forget yourself. Before you speak, listen. Silent and listen have the same letters. Silence is not empty, it is full of answers. Before you spend, earn. Before you write, think. Before you criticize, wait. Before you react, breathe. Before you quit, try. And before you live, Namaste.